So at one point or another, I'm pretty sure that I made video that covered solving systems of equations with three variables um, with a calculator, but I have no idea where it is, so I thought I'd remake it uh, just so everybody could have access to it if they needed it. Now, the cool thing about using a matrix is it can get your answer relatively qu quickly using reduced row echelon form. So I don't know why I did that. I wanted to open the matrix section. There we go. Um, so I'm going to go over and edit it. I need to make a matrix or create one, whatever. You need to name uh, our matrices are identified by their rows and then their columns. So this would be one, two, three rows, as you can see, left to right. And then there's four columns, one for X, one for Y, one for Z, and one for your uh, resultant numbers, so four. So from here, each one of these columns represents a different variable or a different uh, point. So the first row, or the first column, I should say, will represent your x's. So 2, 1x, which is there, negative 6. Uh, the next one would represent y's. This would represent z's. And the final one would represent just your answers, or equal parts. If you prefer to them in that way, it's fine. Um, a couple things that you should know. If you don't see a number, you have to, and it, the variable exists anyway, this is 1x, so I need to put 1 in my matrix, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And anything that says minus a number, you need to add that in as a negative. So for that minus z, it's really negative 1. Also, if one of them didn't have one of the variables, for instance, if the middle one said x minus 2z equals 2, and that plus y wasn't there, where the y is supposed to be in the column, so the second row in the second column, I would put a 0, because that uh, variable isn't being represented in that equation. There's a few ways you could do it. You can go put your, all your x's in, but the easiest way to do it is just to do one equation at a time. So my x, of course, would come first, and then my y, and then my z, and then my answer. Uh, then I'll do the same thing for the other ones, hopefully. And then negative 6, 6, negative 3 and 24. So I'm just going to go back and make sure everything's all hunky-dory. 2, 5, negative 1, 13, that's good. 1, 1, negative 2, 2, that's good. 24, negative 3, 6, negative 6, perfect. So exactly like I want them to be. Now I'm going to quit out of it because because now that I've made it, I need to work with it. So from here, I'll go back into the matrix section now that I've cleared out. And I'm actually going to perform some math. Go down to B here, the RREF. REF is not enough. You want reduced row echelon form, not just row echelon form. So reduced row will give you the type of answer that you want. And you'll see what that looks like in just a second. So I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to go back into the matrix section and pick the uh, matrix that I just made. So this one. And then I'm going to hit enter. And this is my result. Now, you'll notice that in the first three sections, there's ones and zeros, and there's only one in each section. It's sort of like a light switch where you turn it off versus on. One would mean that it's on. So my first column represented my x values. So here it is turned on, which is telling me that the value for x is negative 1. So I would go and put negative 1 as part of my answer. Um, for the second row, the 1 is turned on here. So that would be my y value, and my y value is 3. And finally, the third one, which is z, sits at 0. So what all of this would mean is that my solution to my system of equations with three variables is negative 1, 3, and 0. I'm going to check my answer to make sure that I'm right. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's not really super complicated. Create, <coughs> excuse me. So create the matrix. Re create uh, Use reduced row echelon form which is pretty, it should be relatively easy to get, and then it'll give you your answers out, which would be the point in a three-dimensional coordinate plane, or a three-dimensional plane, where you could find all three of those equations intersecting as the solution. So that's it. You can use the same thing for a uh, two-variable one as well. You just won't have as a large of a matrix originally, and it'll give you two answers instead of three. But it's a quick way to do it if you need to get the answer quickly so you can go on with your life.